is part two of this uh, musical mini Tesla coil kit that uh, I bought and put together. And um, yesterday I showed this uh, working off of an iPad player. And uh, the little plasma stream right about there is what was modulated. And you could hear the little song going off. But today I just wanted to go back and uh, give a little longer uh, video. The, the camera memory cut out on me yesterday, so I couldn't give a, a full uh, a full video of what was going on here. But basically, um, I bought this uh, kit, and uh, I had to get this uh, circuit diagram off of the internet. And the term of the kit I bought was the mini musical music Tesla coil plasma speaker. And if you put that in a Google search or just musical mini Tesla coil, you'll come come up with a where you can buy this thing. Don't pay more than about ten bucks for it. And there's the circuit. But really, this uh, basic oscillator here is a um, Slayer exciter. <clears throat> this LED I took out. And I just have it wired right to here. It's supposed to go from the ground to here. And uh, I don't know why they did it this way. But this is the basic Slayer Exciter. And this goes back years and years and years. And it was invented by Gary Bluer. And uh, he goes by Slayer on uh, YouTube. And when he came up with the uh, basic uh, circuit... Uh, he and I were working together, and I, I just coined the phrase Slayer Exciter. He and I had both been working on Dr. Ronald Stifler's Sec Exciter experiments. And Dr. Stifler is now broadcasting again on YouTube. Uh, he's posting a video again. He got sick, and now he's back. But this is where it started with Gary and I, was Dr. Stifler's Sec Exciter projects. And then Gary came up with this... Um, very simple exciter that is not a sec exciter it's something different and this simple little uh, circuit here is reproduced by lots and lots of people and sold in kits but I like this one um, like I say it's under ten dollars uh, it's a challenging little uh, project if you don't have good soldering skills because the stuff has to be put on that board and um, I had some trouble getting uh, my old soldering iron to solder those parts, but it is a um, interesting uh, situation. Uh, you can call it a Tesla coil, but it's not a traditional Tesla coil. It's a high frequency oscillator that sets up a capacitance in the near field range. And um, this is an example of these. Uh, switching diodes um, 2 1 and 9 14 or 4 1 4 8 switching diodes with a string of LEDs in series these are put in series to show you how this uh, sets up a capacitive field around the uh, device and anyway the um, thing is supposed to run on uh, 15 to 24 volts to get the sound out of the plasma speaker but these transistors, the transistor and the MOSFET get really really hot and you're supposed to have a fan blowing on it there's some outlets right here for a fan to blow air on that thing so I knocked it down to 12 volts and it runs on 12 volts just fine and does these basic uh, uh, experiments that you like to do with the um, Slayer exciters. You can see this LED lights up way out here. And it's quite a quite an energy field that comes off of this particular version of the Slayer exciter. Um, I recommend you, you try to find one of these and get one, but if you don't have good soldering skills, um, it's it's not going to work for you and I'll show you what happened to me on this thing it gets pretty hot on the bottom here is where you have to solder these transistors and uh, I screwed up and uh, had trouble with those and then on the LED 
on this side here I screwed up and screwed that circuit up so I had to bypass that but um, it's a fun little project if you can solder stuff on a circuit board and the um, traces the, the tracks are on both sides of that board and you have to understand what's going on and be really careful when you solder this up and then the uh, red uh, primary this is the secondary this is the primary on the coil uh, has to go on right and um, granddad had a little trouble with that too but that's the way that thing laces on there and you have to um, have that correct for this to start oscillating but it, once you get it right it does uh, it does work uh, quite nicely there's no variable you, you can't vary anything on it but uh, it's a fun little project and I do recommend it um, it does the standard uh, Slayer exciter or sick exciter type of stuff but just remember this is not a sick exciter this is not Ronald Stifler's Dr. Ronald Stiffer's sec exciter. This is a G. Bluer Slayer exciter. And they are like Tesla coils, but they do not put out high voltage. This little uh, blue plasma flame puts out uh, um, radio frequency plasma, and it'll burn your skin. It'll, it won't shock you, but it'll burn your skin. So be careful you don't get burned on that thing but you're not going to get shocked. It's not a uh, shocking uh, scenario. You just get a burn and uh, that's what happens on that thing and it'll it'll make a little mark on your skin. You can smell the burning skin when you touch it. But um, yeah, I, I recommend it. Uh, shop around if you can find one of these things for 10 bucks or whatever. This is an easy way to make a Slayer Exciter or you can build one, a little lower voltage one like that. And that's the little project I've been working on. Thanks for watching.